Welcome to Applied Houdini Dynamics 6 Explosion Rendering. In this lesson, we're going to take our simulation from last time in Dynamics 5 or follow along with your own explosion data. And we're going to focus on the fire aspects of the pyro shader this time. We'll deal with noise and things again, but more importantly, I want to show you some production tricks that I use to go beyond the pyro defaults and really make your explosions look pretty awesome. And once we have those renders, We'll make them look even more awesome by taking them into the post-post-processing world of compositing. I'm going to have a chapter in here that you can do it in Nuke, and then there is also going to be a way for you to achieve the exact same effects in Houdini's compositing area in case you don't use Nuke. Either way, your explosions are going to look pretty sweet. Um, we're going to touch on some lighting stuff again, and finally uh, have a pretty cool render to show off for it. So. I hope you enjoy this lesson and let's get to it.